her and just really done all they've asked of her as a freshman. UNH playing in its 10th straight game with a, with a, a free throw, with a little layup there down at the end. It's just been working for them, and they keep going to it, and why not? Susi knocks down a long two. Hannah Krimble just picked up the over-the-back foul as Serbasowicz glides around the block and scoops that. What you want to do as a guard to create space and go high off the glass. Back the other way, Candice Wright into the first quarter. Scoreless the last four minutes, 30 seconds now. Step back, Torres drains it. That's a long two for the sophomore. Hot back, it was denied by Carmen Handy. Five to shoot for Torres, sprints by the defense, lays it home. Point two. Two point game, Susie, bottom from three. Susie swings to Torres, right off the dribble, throws it up, it goes. Torres, that's on four of five shooting. Swings to Susie, flirting with another double double. Rattles in a jumper. Great lead for New Hampshire. Courtney Wright lobs into her twin sister. Candace does the rest. Sometimes they're going to work, sometimes they're going to get picked. Well, just an offensive three seconds. Caverly for three. Yes. Wraps in a pass to Crimble. Back in the game. Five to shoot. On the outlet to right, three in the air, bottom. Just, just drained it. The right twin sisters have combined for 18 points. Speaking of three, Susie swirl. Nat, just being a little gnat flying around trying to cause trouble, and she's done that. Speaking of trouble, we got Carolyn Susie with a big smile after dropping another big three in the corner. So we'd love to see all of them get some height too. There's Courtney Rice on a high low, punches. Catamounts doing a great job moving the ball around the outside and cutting once they do. Tremendous finish by Courtney. Okay, so she'll pull that. Candace Wright to the basket, count it, and one. Susie picks up the dribble. Now it's Grimm, one second, fires. Vermont wins. The Catamounts hold on. A one-point win on the road in Durham.